What up, sci-fi super fans, and welcome to Sci-Fi Test Lab. Where we create action-packed experiments based on our favorite sci-fi movies. And today, we've got a doozy of a build, inspired by the Stegosaurus from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. We're gonna build a spiky Stego Smasher tail thingy. A thagomizer. What? It's the preferred scientific term. Either way, the machine we make has to be bashy, crashy, and if it's anything like the real Stegosaurus, just a little bit adorable. Oh, it will be adorable when it smashes through a watermelon. So, get ready for prehistoric destruction on Sci-Fi Sci Test Lab. Ow, I think I threw out my back. Oh, yes! Ah! On Isla Nublar, the Stegosaurus is a gentle giant, but that can all end if you get these grumpy herbivores angry, because then it's all wah, wah, wah. So you're saying the tail is a defense mechanism evolved to deter predatory species? And the key features we're looking to replicate are her spikes and the mighty force of a swinging Stegosaurus tail? Hi-ya! Now you're speaking my language! Hmm. If we want our robotic dinosaur to be legit, we need to know the speed at which a stegosaurus swings its tail. A thagomizer! Very good. Let's check in with our expert who knows everything about dinosaurs, Derek from Veritasium. Hey guys. Hey, what's Hi. up? So you're making a stegosaurus. Yes, and we need to figure out how fast it swings its... Cheese puffs, I forgot the word. Thagomizer? Why does everyone know this word except for me? <laughs> well, look. A stegosaurus can swing its spike-studded tail at a speed of 40 meters per second. That's over 89 miles per hour. What? Yeah, so getting hit by that tail is basically like getting hit by a car on the freeway if that car was covered in spikes. And speeding. Well, I know one place that tail will not get a speeding ticket. The destruction zone. <laughs> a machine that swings side to side that fast sounds really hard to make. That's a good point. Okay, what if the machine lifts the tail up and then it comes crashing down? That's a really good idea because that way gravity will help accelerate the tail to that high speed. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's do it! So to make our stegosaurus tail, we start with a 3D model of a stegosaurus, then design a custom tail. Our tail is going to be 43 inches long and comprised of 19 metal pieces. These pieces are all connected together with clevis joints. We then run a metal cable through each piece in order to control the tail's motion. Finally, we mount the tail on a metal swing arm attached to the frame of our pneumatic ram system. And now the moment we've been waiting for. Tell me when I can open my eyes. I didn't tell you to close them. Whoa, that looks just like a stegosaurus tail. Nice job, Zaire. Thanks, our tail is ready to swing and we'll track that speed with this radar gun. Times for some prehistoric pulverizing. Safety goggles on, people, safety goggles on. Destroying flower piece of cake. Job! That Stegosaurus just earned her black belt. All right, time for the watermelon. <laughs> Thagomize! 
science has spoken. Our Thagomizer was a success. Oh, I bet I could use it to pierce my ears. What? No. Have you ever even looked at the lab safety manual that I wrote? I'll go grab it. Big thanks to our awesome guest, Derek from Veritasium, for all the dinosaur deets. And we'll see you next time on... Sci-Fi Test, Test lab. lab. Now, let's review. Rule number one, no chewing gum in the lab. Rule number two, no flip-flops in the lab. Rule number three, no chewing gum while wearing flip-flops in the lab. Rule number four, click here to watch more Sci-Fi Test Lab. And click here to subscribe to DreamWorks TV. Ah, and make sure to check out Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. What are you watching? Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Didn't I just say to watch it? Oh, you need to listen better. <laughs>